Hey Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so very much for joining me. I hope you're doing amazing today. I'm telling the truth Thursday. How y'all feeling, Aries? We're going to jump right into your reading. I'm going to start with some career and finance messages. I'm just going to get three messages for you all because Wealthy Wednesday is going to have to take a back seat for a couple of weeks here. But um, I still want to incorporate that into your readings because I know some people do actually care about their money. I am one of those people. And so let's see what Spirit has for you when it comes to your, your money. I'm just going to get three messages, y'all. What you need to hear right now in relation to work, your career, your money, your finances. What is it that Spirit wants you to know? I'm going to shuffle three times and get the three on top. But I do flip them just to let y'all know if y'all don't already know. Okay, Aries career and finance messages. Why are these cards in the way? We have a tower moment, Scorpio Aries energy. It says military jobs, demolition worker, conflict resolution, anger management, or jobs with high emotional pressure as well as competitive jobs. So any of those could be um, relevant for you, significant for you. But this card represents bankruptcy, it represents financial insecurity, and it says be careful with money, avoid risky investments, and put some money aside for a rainy day. So there's something coming up here. Let's just take this. We have a backlog, being behind on something, swamped at work, and overload. Sagittarius energy. You can have Scorpio, Aries, or Sagittarius placements in your chart. Um, no, what did I just say? You you do have Aries. What am I talking about? You can have Scorpio or Sagittarius placements in your chart, Aries. Um, so wait a minute. You're working a whole bunch, but you still feel behind financially. We have employee of the month. Rewards and recognition, Capricorn energy. Okay. Some of you could be working on something, working really, really hard on something, and you may feel like nobody's paying any attention. You feel a bit stressed here. And Spirit is saying you're going to be rewarded. You're going to be recognized for all these sacrifices you're making. If you're working a lot of overtime, if you're working multiple jobs, it will pay off in the long run. It's not going unnoticed. There are some, it's someone higher up maybe that's watching you. There's going to be something that you get out of it. You may not see that yet. But I want to clarify this tower. What's this tower all about? I, I don't like the tower. The 16th of um, April could be significant for you. Either the 3rd, the 10th, or the 16th of April. Look for something to go on there. King of Cups? What in the world? You know what? The King of Cups could represent an older masculine. That could even be a father figure. You could have a father who's going to help you out. Yeah, I told you, somebody has seen you work very hard. Some of you, this could be like your supervisor or something. There's an older masculine watching you work very hard. And it's like, you know what? I'm going to do something for this person, whether that be a promotion or whatever. This talks about being like a master of your craft, like mastering your craft, not being a master, but working hard to become a master of your craft. You're a workaholic. Um, you can have Virgo, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio placements. Look at this. You're tired. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy coming out again. Knight of Swords. Spirit is saying, don't, don't overwork yourself too much you got another someone could be a supervisor there's, there's a masculine energy around you who's going to come in to assist you that sees you working yourself to the bone they see you making sacrifices they see you working so hard and they know you're tired some kind of relief is coming even though there is a tower moment so something unexpected will happen something shocking something that could be like a setback but spirit is saying even with that Someone is watching you and you will be rewarded for all the sacrifices that you have made, okay? Aries. So I said the 3rd, the 10th, and the 16th of April could be very significant for you. And that is your birthday season. still your birthday season. So why am I picking up these cards? What's going on with um, love? How is your person feeling about you? For those of you in a connection, if you're not, maybe click off now. King of Cups. Some of you, this is a... a partner who's going to be helping you a cancer pisces or scorpio who is older this person could be 40 and up the kings are like age 40 and up aries 
So some of you could be younger than that. You don't have to be. Two of Wands. Someone is thinking long term with you. Someone can live at a distance from you. This is about someone planning for the long term. Progress. Making progress. And um, moving this forward. Eight of Cups. Okay. So how are they feeling about you? Some of them feel like you walked away from them. I don't know. It could be a Pisces you're dealing with. It could be another Aries. A Cancer or a Scorpio here. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken. This is Libra energy. I feel like somebody feels like even if you did walk away from them, it's only a matter of time before you come back together. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't get y'all shadow and light message. I'm all over the place. Did I get y'all shadow and light message? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Did I? <laughs> It says, how do I get closure? Hurt, healing, loss, questioning, unable to move on, stuck in toxic X. So Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus could be someone you're dealing with. Somebody that you walked away from is feeling it. They don't have closure to the situation. And look what we have here. We got this person feeling lost. Wait, wait, did I shuffle? Oh, you know what? I shuffled. <laughs> I shuffled. But the world, I mean, yeah, the um, Wheel of Fortune was there, which talks about going through a lot of cycles with someone. And deciding whether you want to keep fighting for the connection. This person wants to keep fighting. They feel like you've left them out in the cold. Could be a Taurus. They feel like you walked away. You've abandoned the connection, Aries. Some of them had to choose between you and someone else. This is a paternal figure. So you could be dealing with someone who is a father to, you know, um, maybe not your father, but they have children with someone else. What's the king of cups? King of Cups is emotionally available. He's a good father. He's a good um, partner. He takes care of you. Four of Swords. Some of y'all are on a break from this person. Libra Energy. What in the world is going on with these readings today? Somebody's trying to get closure. This person can't get over you. Or maybe this is your feeling. Yeah, Ten of Wands. This felt like an uphill battle. This feels like something you have to resign to fate. That's what the Ten of Wands can represent. Something that you just have to leave to fate. It's like, I cannot keep trying to force this. Some of y'all walked away. Because this person wouldn't make a decision. There's a decision here. There's a feeling of being torn between two people, two things, two options, two outcomes, two choices. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, the chariot. This is moving away quickly. Yeah, some somebody y'all are mad at right now. You're not interested. Cancer energy coming out twice here. Your person could be a cancer or have cancer placements in their chart, or maybe you do. You got tired of something with this person. You got tired of some mess with them. It's Four of Pentacles. But why do I feel like y'all are still holding on? Capricorn energy. I feel like y'all are still holding on. This person could be younger than you. They don't have to be. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something about money. Somebody's toxic here. Capricorn energy, Aquarius energy. Somebody's toxic. What's the devil? Why is the devil coming out? Let's talk about addictions, codependency. There could be somebody there connected to. Look at this card. How you got these people chained to, to the devil and chained to one another. There's some codependency with someone in their energy. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with or they're dealing with a Capricorn. They may have recently started like hooking up with this person again. They can have children in common because you got the page of pentacles, which represents a youth. So they can have a child who's a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But that's a possibility. Look at this. Family dynamic and money is involved. Virgo energy. This says family, security, legacy. Something about a family dynamic is, yeah, it's left you sad. That's Scorpio energy. It's left you sad. Some of them, they could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. I don't like when the Queen of Wands comes out in complicated situations like this. Because she represents like a really toxic feminine energy who's very much like jealous and competitive and she gossips and she bad mouths people. She, she's prudish. She looks down on people. Um, she has biases and she's also like entitled. She's very attention starved. 
She very messy. She just messy. Yeah. A lot of them, this thing, yeah. A lot of them is the fire sign they're dealing with. I asked how they felt about you, and that went all over the place. Um, how is this going to play out in the end? I'm just kind of freestyling when it comes to these questions. I do have some here that I, I wanted to use, but I'm just, I have to go with what I'm compelled to do. So what's going to be the outcome of this? So you don't have closure. They don't have closure either. And I also feel like there's a cycle with someone else that needs to be closed out. Y'all are holding back your feelings. Y'all are very guarded with this person. Aquarius energy, six of swords. Um, Capricorn could be somebody on the Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius again. You know, this strength card can represent so many things. But what I feel like there's a feminine here trying to control. Look at what she's doing to that line. There's a feminine here trying to get your person under control. And who? And he has children with her or he has a very strong attraction to her. There's a pull that he has to her. Look, look at how he's looking. And she's like, I'm the one in control. They're holding on so tight to your person. And a lot of y'all are like, oh, I, don't, I don't want this no more. Libra energy, Aquarius energy with... I'm, I'm giving this a break. Look, walking away again with the lover. Some of you feel like this is your soulmate. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Pisces. Or like I said, some of you could be on the Pisces Aries cusp. Lord Jesus. Okay. Let's move on and get some messages. A lot of y'all want to walk away from this person if they can't get it right. But there's still some love there. There's still some attraction and some love. Some communication may be coming in really quickly. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. What do they want to say? What do they want to say when they come in? I worry about us a lot. So they are worried about the connection. It's not like it doesn't mean anything to them. But this other woman around, and I say woman, but it could be a man. This baby daddy, baby mama, that's the same thing came out for y'all yesterday or the day before. Like this person is messy. A lot of Queen of Wands energy coming through. Um, my readings as like this messy baby mama. Maybe it just feels unsure. It feels unsure. Some of y'all are definitely on the Pisces Aries cusp. Happiness is my priority. That's why you're moving away. And you hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. You're like, I can't do anything about it. I have to just leave it to fate. It is what it is. Okay, Aries. What else do they want to say? Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your life. So they're missing you. Um, I can't promise you anything. Yeah, because they got this crazy person around them. I told y'all the other day she's doing spell work and everything. She is very domineering and controlling. And she messy. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. It's at the bottom. I can't express myself. Yep, because she that other woman is holding the mat. Or that other person, if it's not a woman. Doesn't have to be a woman, y'all. But I feel like it is. And I feel like they had a family or children with this person. Or live together or something. Money is tied up. I think I told y'all that too um, on Tuesday. There's some kind of financial... Um, what am I trying to say? Like weight that somebody's holding over your person's head. Let's get some of these. What do they want to say? Page of Wands. Okay. Children could be involved here, but this this, is, this talks about good news when it comes to creative projects, good news when it comes to passion and things like that. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, another fire sign. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who really just wants to keep everybody happy here, and they can't, and they don't know how to manage that. They could be very um, enthusiastic, especially when it comes to their children. They could be a bit immature. I mean, the page of ones can be immature, but it also represents someone coming from your past, coming back your way because they feel this pull to you, you know, um, sexually, energetically, there's a lot of chemistry. This person has some feelings for you. They're in love with you. The Page of Wands is in love with you, but he can also be in love with someone else. And that's his problem. He sometimes can get in over his head because he might let his, his desires 
pulled him in different directions. We have high hater. Look at this. Jealousy, bitterness, negativity, opposition, and competition. A Leo, possibly taunting, negative outside influences. This baby mama, this baby mama or baby daddy is very toxic, y'all. And she's somebody that pokes at you. She's jealous of you. She's bitter. She's negative. She sees herself as competition. When truth be told, she's not competition, but that's how she sees herself. And she has an influence that says negative outside influence. That's what the strength, strength card is, an influence. She has way too much influence over your person. We have, I can't accept your apology if it isn't sincere. A lot of y'all don't want to hear from them. And they're not going to tell you what you want to know. This is why you want this honest communication with this person. And you want it now. You're like, it's, it's my apology. It's my... Uh, explanation and I want it now. Give it to me. What are you doing? Look at this. I'm in a bind. Financial hardships. Hands tied. Everyday struggles. This person is connected to this person, other person because of finances. Some kind of way. Let's just say for instance, there's a feminine, a toxic feminine, a toxic baby mama, right? And she's like, I don't want you to move on. And I said this the other day. She's the type who will say, I won't put you on child support or um, I'm going to use an example of something I've been through dealing with someone who had a toxic baby mama. And she said to him, if you move on with her, even though they weren't together and she had moved on, if you move on with her, I'm going to take the kids and disappear and you'll never know where your children are. That type of energy is what I'm picking up, y'all. This person feels like they can't fight this person. This person is really toxic. Oh, y'all want to bop them. I want to bop them upside the head for y'all, Aries. I swear I do. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I can't let you go, but I can't be what you need or deserve right now. You will have to walk away. I never will. And that's why a lot of you are walking away. They want you to know you are in a happy place. And it says, I try to run away from our connection, but I'm always led back to you. So they ain't haven't gotten over you. They over there with miss, messy, toxic boots. And she making life hell for them. But I'm going to see what the outcome is going to be. I think I already checked, but I, I want to check again because I'm just a little bit confused. Like, I, these situations are always, uh, it can be a mess. You know, when you're dealing with toxic baby mamas and baby daddies that feel entitled. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something, because I had a toxic baby mama that, not me, but my person, um, at one point, but we, let me tell you something about me. I, I get that together. I get you together quick, baby. Let me tell you, I don't know who came before me, but I'm here now, and I don't play that. Um, and so we're going we gonna to have some boundaries and some expectations, okay? Um, there's something about, she was a Leo, and there's something about, that the fire sign energy i know y'all are fire signs right so y'all know this there's this on the more toxic side because not every fire sign is going to have this but i mean on the more toxic side almost like a sense of entitlement like i said that queen of wands it's like I'm, i have children with you and you're supposed to just play my game no i'm actually not i'm not supposed to play your game i've moved on how come you can't accept that well I, i'm i'm the queen in particular with Leos, I noticed this. I mean, not to take a shot at Leos because I don't have any beef with Leos, but I'm just saying that in my experience, even in dating one, there's always this sense of entitlement, you know, like you don't own me. And that's what I feel like your person's dealing with somebody that feels like they own them just because they have children. Like, mm, girl, if you don't go sit down, okay, what's going to happen? What's going to happen between Aries and this person? These reasons are too long today. Justice. Mm, spirit is like you know what keep your cool don't play this person's game don't speak to their level as long as you keep things right and tight on your end i got you justice will be served this is about karma they gonna get their karma baby some of them if they're married to this person they could be like a divorce or something if they're in court with this person over something financial it will go in your person's favor this other person is about to take all kind of l's all over the place okay all kind of losses. Look at this. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra here. This is an ending. This is hitting a rock bottom. This got to come to an end. Spirit is like, this has got to end. I'm tired. Enough is enough. You keep on picking with Aries. You keep trying to sabotage Aries connection with their person, past person. Look at this. There are children involved here. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. 
their children involved. Look at this. They they about to kick this person out. If they have like a home with some kind of money situation tied up with this person, it could be a Taurus, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Libra, or Gemini. They're, they're about to, this person going to have to get off their butt, go get a job, take care of themselves. Your person is about to be done because they don't want to lose you. They want to work on a connection with you and they know it's getting in the way. So those are your messages, Aries. That's, that's a mess, right? But justice is about to be served, baby. I, I, I might title, title your video, Justice is about to be served with this toxic, toxic baby mama or baby daddy. All right, Aries, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment if this resonated, and I'll see you all next week. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.